Okay, guys, now listen up, please. I know I'm normally banging on about how we're a team and we put the team first, but I need you to forget all that today. Today, it's all about two guys whose names are confusingly similar, setting some premiership records. Today, we need to get McQuaid four goals and McDade four... No, we need to get McDade four goals and McQuaid four assists. So let's get out there and let's set some premiership records. Come on, boys. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Bielan and welcome to Season 11, Episode 17 here at H&W Welders. And today it is all about two players as we round out the Premiership season. We've already won the title, but we have two players looking to set new records in the league. The first man is Aaron McDade. He needs four goals from our final two games to get the league record. He tied it last year, of course. So to break his own uh, well, joint record, I suppose, and hold it, joint, hold it individually, he needs four goals. And uh, the other man is this guy, club captain, academy graduate, William McQuaid. He needs four assists, maybe less likely you would suggest, but he needs four assists to break the league record for assists. He needs one assist to break the club record. Um, obviously, it's a bit higher. It's what's it, 22, so he's joined that right now. So one assist will get in the new club record, but he can break the, uh, the league record. 18 it currently stands at. So four assists for him in those two games. And that would uh, see him set a new high water mark as well. So that's what we're back for. It's all about McQuaid and McDay. They will obviously both be playing both games. Uh, those games are against Coleraine and before that against Carrick Rangers. Rangers at home, Coleraine away. But there is a little bit of other news to catch you up on. And that is this. Martin McKay, he has uh, extended his loan for next season as well. Um, so we're still paying all these wages. It's a lot of wages to pay. A little bit of a monthly fee as well. Um, but he's a wonderful player. He really, really is. So we've got him and Lake uh, to play that left side of midfield for us next season. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's job done. We don't need to worry about signing anybody else with a left foot because we've got two, well, we have got the two best left wingers in the league. There is absolutely no doubt about that. And with that sort of pace, uh, he'll cause uh, problems in Europe as well. So very, very happy for that. But as I said, this is all about the records today. Uh, a quick update. We have come straight back. You can see the league table there. Actually, we don't need to worry about it too much. We do have the cup final still to come against Crusaders. That'll be next episode. Uh, but this, as I said, it's all about McQuaid and McDade. If we were to win our two games, we could get to 102 points as well. That would equal Linfield's record. Unfortunately for us, we're not able to break that record this season, but we'll come back for that one next season. So we're expecting a 4-2-3-1 from the Carrick Rangers, and this is the team that we're sending out. It's Zayanetti in goal. It's Ellis, Martin, Lewis, and Monaghan. McQuaid obviously plays with Mounier. It's Scully, Napoleon, and Lake. McDade is up top, and, um, well, let's see what they can do. Okay, so we can see the team sheets. Just one change that I made sort of after I signed off there. Uh, Rory, uh, Roy Hill even is back fit. So I decided to give him a game. Monaghan has played a lot. So he's, uh, he's uh, match fatigued anyway. Um, so we've made that change at uh, at right back. But everything else there obviously is the same. Uh, what do we want to say? That this is always difficult after you've won the league as to exactly what to say. Uh, I would pick up where you left off. I never know what to say. Okay, we've been on a good run lately, impressed me. The problem is, I mean, I don't necessarily care if we're complacent and we don't play well or win, because none of that matters, but I want to make sure McDade and McQuaid have every chance. And here we go, McQuaid and McDay Day. It's our final game at uh, Tillysburg Park, and look at that, the fans have come flocking out in their tens <laughs> uh, to, to see this record maybe get broken today. We've got some defending to do from a set piece. Let's see what we can do. One thing I have done coming into this one is we've put McQuaid on all set piece duty. I don't usually do that. Here we go. Can he set in Lake? Now, if Lake can score, this could be an assist. Can Lake finish it off? Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. And McQuaid robbed of an early assist there. He goes across to take the corner. Can he find the head of McDay? That would be something. It's punch clear. Lake will pick that up. We need to give it to McQuaid to give it to McDade. <laughs> Come on, Lake. What can he do? Cross in. McDade is there. Oh, it's a penalty. No, it's not. It's, it's a free kick against McDade. Uh, McDade, I believe, is on penalty duty. We'll make sure that he's taking every penalty we can get him to. Um, there's already a few signs there of complacency, isn't there? Oh, come on. He was so, so close last season. We don't want him to miss out this year as well. Cross in. Scully's there. Heather away. Mounier will pick that up. He goes out to Hill. Can Hill get a cross in now? McDade is there. He's lurking. It's Mounier. 
Edge of the area for McQuaid. He's back out the hill. There's McQuaid. Pass it to McDaid. Oh, it's an assist. It's an assist for William McQuaid. It's the 20th for Kean Scully. And McDaid, no, McQuaid, I'm going to trip over those names, aren't I, this episode. McQuaid now needs three assists to break the league record. McDaid still needs his four goals. But look at that, a wonderful first-time pass. Kean Scully, a no-look shot. How's that? And uh, we're 1-0 up, which you could argue is the most important thing, but it's not on this day, is it? This day, as I said, it's McQuaid and McDaid day. We want them getting as many of their required goals and assists as possible. Here we go, Hill, with a throw. Scully, can he get a cross into McDade? Oh, it's not a good pass. It's hack clear, and Lewis is running away from it. He should get... Oh, he had a heavy touch, had a chance. Just don't give away a penalty here, please, mate. If you can help it, he has given away a penalty. Perfect. Don't get yourself sent off. Zayanetti with a chance to be a hero. I'm not sure what he, where he's standing on clean sheets, actually. That was the other record I meant to check. Uh, but he's not going to get a clean sheet. Oh, he's already broken that record, hasn't he? I remember it happening now. It's 1-1. Um, what we could maybe look to do is berate them here. Uh, generally speaking, we're not playing too bad. Good penalty, if you're being fair to uh, McGee there. Let's berate them. Let's, let's just put pressure on them. That hasn't worked. Can we win the header here, please? Hill is there. He can't. Lewis to Munier, all the way back to Zayanetti. And then we go forward towards Lake. Lake is going to pick it up. Can he find McDade in the middle? Can he get the cross in? He's gone to the byline. He pulls it back. It's Scully. Scully, it's not your day today, man. Let's give them some encouragement here when we can. We've got defending to do. Oh, Lake does well. Munier picks it up. Forward early. McDade is there. He can't quite get to it, though. If McDade, if he could get, well, I mean, a double here, he needs two. Here we go. Napoleon, can he slip him in? Scully. Scully's been played in. Oh, Scully. He's missed it anyway. We do need to try and make sure we win the games, I suppose, don't we? I should... It's not just about the other two. Okay, McQuaid, can he get himself an assist here from the corner? It's a good ball in. It's headed away, though. Lake, we've got about, what's that? Seven or eight minutes before the break. Lake crosses blocked. He gets another chance at it to Napoleon. Lake again to McQuaid. Can he slip in a pass here? He goes to Munier instead. Scully looking for McDade. Can't find him. And that ends the highlight. Let's give him some encouragement just before the break here. Hill with a throw. Scully. Can he whip the cross in? He can. It's McDade. Oh, towards McDade. Oh, and it's Lake. And McDade had two chances there. And it's a bit of a wasted goal. A 22nd goal for Dylan Lake. I mean, we should skim over that. He has had a wonderful season. Scully with the assist. They're both back again next season on loan, of course. And, oh, twice. Could McDade have redirected that header, maybe? Anyway, we'll give him some praise. And on we will go. And that is half time. 2-1 up over Carrick Rangers. And uh, what do we say to this? You might be winning... I guess we go with that, don't we? We've demotivated Ellis. Uh, we've got him back on board. That's good to see. Let's see if we can fire up McDade, actually. Um, yeah, McDade with a... Uh, not happy. There we go. You'd think he'd be fired up, but I, I don't actually think the game maybe registers sometimes that players are going for records like that. Um, I mean, we're... We're doing enough to be absolutely smashing them, but we're just not uh, putting chances away here, are we? Maybe we should do a chance conversion session just ahead of the next game. Lake has done well there. Can he play in McDade? McDade is lurking. So is Scully. So is Napoleon. He goes to McDade. It's bouncing around. Mounier to Lake. Lake smashes it straight at the goalkeeper. We'll have another chance from the corner as McQuaid goes across the take. William McQuaid. Ball in. Decent. Again, it's always decent. Towards McDade. It's headed away, though. McQuaid gets another chance at it. To Lewis. Lewis. You don't want your centre-back in that position. Lewis. <laughs> Eventually, he loses out. And we'll give them some more praise. Another highlight. Ellis with the throw. Napoleon has it. Can he get a cross in towards McDade? It's back post for Scully. Scully's shot is blocked. And it is comprehensively <laughs> cleared out of the stadium for another corner. McQuaid. McQuaid. It's again towards McDade. Again, it's headed away. And here come Carrick Rangers. Lake. Again, he's so good, isn't he? Lake and McKay. What a left options we have. Left wing options we have for next season. We've got defending to do here. 
ball in. Munier clears it up towards McDade. He heads it back to McQuaid. All right, can they do an old-fashioned one-two here? Come on, Napoleon to Scully. Can Scully square it? Scully's in. Scully's too good. And Scully has 21 goals this season now. It's 3-1. Who passed it to Scully? Was it a McDade pass? A McQuaid pass, I mean. It might have been a McQuaid pass. I'm too worried about... No, it was Napoleon. Oh, what a waste. Another wasted goal. Some good football, but ultimately... Not who we wanted passing or finishing that one, is it? Let's just keep praising them. Rory Hill's looking complacent. Um... All right, another highlight. Martin over a free kick to McQuaid. Mounier to Lake. Give it to McDade. Get that cross in. There it is towards McDade again. It's headed away. They're ready for him, aren't they? They don't want him to get this record. McQuaid is there. He can't quite win it back. Ball over the top. Zayanetti goes a long way, but it's good goalkeeping. He gets it forward. Lake can't quite win the flick on. Can Ellis win that back for us? No. Napoleon. Putting the pressure on. There's the, the hack forward. Hill is there. Hill can't stop McGee getting past him. And McGee puts his effort over the bar. 12 minutes to play. Let's give it a focus. Let's go all out attack. Can we get this goal? That would be a wonderful thing for us. If it's uh, a McQuaid assist. And or a McDade goal. We don't want him going into the final day needing four. Lake is... Oh, well, they're too good. They're too good. Dylan Lake. That's a stunning goal. McQuaid with the assist though. McQuaid needs two. Well, we're a bigger chance, I think, in the final day of McQuaid getting the job done than we are with uh, with McDade, unfortunately. But Lake just drives through the defense. Wonderful finish at the end. And, uh, well, there we go. We'll praise them. Is there anything in this game for Aaron McDade? It doesn't look like there is. It's 4-1. It's comprehensive. Both are wide players. A Scully double, a Lake double. Two assists for McQuaid. But nothing in that one for uh, for Aaron McDade. So there we go. We go to 99 points for the season. The goal difference of just the plus 105. And we hammer Carrick Rangers, uh, Munier report. Uh, he's just, he's just, he's the puppeteer in there pulling strings for us. Excellent work by you. And that is that. Guys, wait right there. We'll be back for the final day of the season. McQuaid needs two, exi uh, two assists, even. McDade needs four goals. That has maybe slipped away. But McQuaid, it's still very much there. Okay, welcome back. And the McDade goal scoring record. Uh, the bid ends like this. A twisted ankle, season over. Uh, he will finish on 39 goals for the season. 38 uh, of course, in the league, and uh, well, we'll have to try again next year for him. Um, yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. It would have been nice. I mean, four goals is a big ask, but it would have been nice to at least been able to get him on the field and uh, see how he gets on. So that means all hope now is focused on. Oh, what's that? Champions League semi-finals. As all hope, all of the, all hope is focused even on McQuaid trying to get these uh, this assist record. So we can see we're expecting a five-three-two from them, and this is the team that we're sending out. It is Zayanetti in goal. It's Ellis, Martin, Lewis, and Hill continuing as the back four. It's McQuaid and Al Min who's fit again. He comes back in just trying to give him some game time uh, ahead of a potential cup final uh scully armstrong and lake will continue they're all fine aren't they scully's heavy match load is there somebody else we could play out there it would be hodel um all right let's give him a game because we're not so worried about scoring goals necessarily it's just about mcquade assisting them so we'll keep scully fresh for a potential cup final uh lewis is tied as well so we might as well make a change there simpson is back he is media all right let's get mcmenemy on uh, for Lewis. Um, so we're making changes on the run here. Excellent. There's nothing like planning, is there? Hodel, Armstrong, and Lake. They are the middle three. It's Gary Turpin getting the start up top. We've got Picasso on the bench. We might try and give them maybe a half each. I mean, big picture. There is a spot in the final up for grabs now. One of those two has to start the Irish Cup final for us. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. There is a familiar name in Melvin Lambert, who, of course, was up front for us for a season or two there. Uh, but everything else there is... Uh, I don't recognize any names that we've, of players we formerly had. What do we want to say to this? Let's pump our fists. Let's maybe... Do we do it for the media again? They've lost... Okay, let's pile on the misery. Let's see if that can work for us. Um, so far, so good, Mr. Turpy. Excellent stuff. All right, and here we go. It is now just... William McQuaid day at <laughs> at Harland and Wolf Welders and we've just got to get him two assists I say just um and yeah 
we will have a record in our in our uh, in our club, which is excellent. He did, of course, he's broken the club record now. Uh, he's taken that off Napoleon. Let's hope that fires up Napoleon to get that back next season. Ellis with the ball down the line there for late. Can he square it back for Turpy? He can. Turpy's there. Turpy with the finish. Where was that sort of play against um, against Carry Rangers? But it's a wonderful start. There's a wonderful finish from youngster Gary Turpy, who of course has come through our academy. He is potentially the best player to come through the academy uh, right now. You've got to say that that's McQuaid's uh, title. He has. He's been there and done it. But look at that for a finish from Gary Turpy. Wonderful stuff. And Lake. I tell you what, Lake is is brilliant, isn't he? He doesn't just get uh, the goals. He gets the assists as well. And uh, if we can start and get this team playing this well in Europe, then you do wonder, you know, if we could start to surprise a few teams. I think, you know, our main goal for next season has got to be just trying to get back in that Champions League group stage, try and get that money coming in as much as possible. And I think it's another good ball for Turpy. Turpy, and it's an assist for William McQuaid. He's equaled the record. The two academy youngsters, they combine. It's an assist for William McQuaid. One more assist now, and he will break the league record. It's not the record, ideally, that we wanted, is it? We wanted the goal-scoring record, but it's a nice ball over the top. Turpy's made a stunning run, and, uh, well, he's definitely put his hand up to start the cup final here, hasn't he? How close was it to offside? He's got himself back on. Morrow there, or well, both of them are playing him on. And it's a wonderful first-touch finish for the second time. Turpy, two touches, two goals almost, it seems like, anyway. We'll give them some more praise. They are playing a different formation to other teams, so that maybe is helping, um, and that's maybe why we're seeing, especially late, get crosses into the box, uh, just because, you know, there's there's probably a wing-back out there that's uh, making him do that. McQuaid on the ball. He is, again, uh, McQuaid, sorry. He is, oh, there's a wonderful ball. Can we do it? Is this the moment? Turpy, he's done it! McQuaid's done it! Turpy's got a hat-trick, and what a first half it is. It's a new league record for William McQuaid. Well done, mate. It's a stunning goal to bring it up as well. Turpy has not missed that, has he? Again, it's just what McQuaid does. The puppeteer, he's pulling the strings. It's a wonderful ball for Turpy. Turpy's first touch was superb, and look at that for a finish right in that top corner. It would take a better goalkeeper than one that's playing in this league to stop that. And again, Turpy just just pushing that offside, but uh, making sure that he does still manage to stay on. And that is a first half of football, isn't it? Turpy hat trick. McQuaid's got his two assists. It's a new league record. And can he add to it here? McQuaid, ball in. It's beaten everybody. Keeper claims. And let's see what becomes of this. Highlight continues. Just want to make sure we don't have any injuries now. We've got about a week and a half before the final. So plenty of time. Um, McQuay, can he get to that? Not quite. Martin, McManamy. It was probably a farewell appearance for McManamy. Um, we haven't covered ourselves in glory there, if we're honest. Mark Moore with the goal. Melvin Lambert, that familiar name, gets the assist. We'll tell him to focus. Uh, just a little bit of sloppiness back there, wasn't it? McManamy kind of tripped over the ball trying to make a tackle. Um, yeah, just sloppy. Zayanetti will not keep an assist. Uh, not keep an assist. Good one. Uh, will not keep a clean sheet. I've got assists on the brace. Too much going on. My poor brain can't cope. Um, but there we go. It is 3-1 at the break. Turpy's got a hat trick. Let's tell them to keep going on with this. And, uh, well, that hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> can we get them all back around now that's the big question and we've got to get tell mr turpy what a performance that was mate keep that going for me please he's still demotivated uh well hopefully he'll turn that around once he gets out there we'll give them some praise and uh, if turpy's gonna be uninspired and it is 100 my fault for the talk uh we might look to, to bring Picasso on there's a ball in McMenemy almost with a farewell goal and another assist for mcquade but not on this occasion um Hodel not having a great game wide right. Turpy's got an injury. Okay, well, that'll, that'll force our hand there. We don't want to leave him out there for no reason. Oh, Anthony Armstrong. He adds a 13th goal to the season. Uh, while we've got uh, all these guys knocking in goals for fun, I should say there is still time to vote for your viewers' player of the year. Uh, the link is in the description. The nominees that you guys nominated, it was Armstrong, it was Scully, Lake, and McDade. Um, so that is still an option there for you if you want to, if you haven't voted yet. Go down top of the description and make sure you are voting. Uh, Turpy goes off. Hat-trick. Such a shame we couldn't have left him on. But with the cup final to come, 
Um, I'm sure it's completely understandable why we have taken him off. One other change we might make here. Well, McQuaid is absolutely knackered, but we'll leave him on. Uh, coming back from injury, Al Amin not having a great game. We'll give Miss Kelly our game out there. And we don't really have another wide right player. So we'll just kind of tell Hodel that he needs to be a little bit better, perhaps. Oh, now McQuaid's picked up an injury. A twisted knee. Well, that'll force our hand there. So he will he's broken the record. He won't be adding to it any further though. But well, mission accomplished, really, there, isn't it? Really, really happy that he's broken that record. He's a club legend, I think. He's been with us for a long, long time. Most of that, of course, was on loan for a while there, wasn't it, when he got poached away from us. But there it is. 4-1 on the final day. We break the hundred point barrier. 14 shots, only four on target. Slightly worrying, perhaps. Um Maybe we say we're going to be better against better opposition. Cup final to come, of course. So Harlan and Wolf Welbers, Hammer, Colrain, the Turpy. Oh no, Turpy's out the final as well. So it will be Picasso that goes in the cup final. McQuaid should be back if we want. Well, I mean, we will want. We will want him out there, won't we? Uh, but he should be fine. But that's a massive blow. We've lost arguably our two best strikers now coming into the cup final, which is. Far from ideal. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. But uh, he's still got the hat trick. Excellent work. And uh, we look at the final league table. We can see it there. 102 points. Uh, let's go and have a look at it this way. 102 points. Champions. 108 goal difference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. The average ratings, the assists. We had the first and second assist getter. And uh, yeah, player of the match. McDade almost up there for there as well. Uh, it's a shame Zaynetti could have had the most uh, clean sheets if we kept the clean sheet the final day there. But the important thing is we're champions. And um, yeah, absolutely flying. So we'll be back next time. That is it for today. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, we'll be back next time for the Irish Cup final. We'll be facing Crusaders. And well, it would be nice, wouldn't it? We won it, what, two times there? We've only won it twice. It would be nice to get a third one in the cabinet. It would be a quadruple at that point, I think, wouldn't it? Because we've already won the, the league. Uh, we've won the all I we won the Irish champions thing. We won the League Cup. So that's one, two, three maths. So this would be a quadruple of sorts. So well, who knows? Let's hope we can do it. Until next time, guys, I've been Aussie Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And congratulations, William McQuaid.